Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back sharing with you P's book advent. I'm not gonna lie, I've had this done probably since June last year, so when she was like six months old. I love Christmas and I get very excited about A, organising it, B, just collecting it all and just, I'm like a squirrel and if you don't watch me then you won't know, but I'm an extreme organiser, like to the extreme where it's not probably mentally right. And I love to collect things. So when I like set myself a mission, I go out and I just try and find them all. Also gonna apologize for the sun because it's really pissing me off. I've been trying to film this video probably for about an hour, um, which is wasting crucial time when my child's not here. The sun's going in and out. Sometimes it looks Christmassy. Sometimes it looks like it's the middle of summer and I've just got my Christmas tree up. That's not the case. It's very cold today, but the sun just seems to decide to ruin my video. So just ignore the lighting fails that I have because I'm not a professional YouTuber and share with you what I have managed to find for P's book advent. I have picked these up, like I've said, throughout the last year. I have also been buying for next year, which is just ridiculous um some of this stuff is brand new some of it is actually second hand i don't know if that's bad or not but i think books don't really matter so enough of the waffle let's get on with it so first of all i have got this nursery collection that i got from home bargains i want to say these were either like 79p or 99p per book which is just really cheap anyway brand new they should have been at 5 99 um, and Shirley Hughes is just like a classic author. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six in a collection. Obviously I've got them all. So we've got one, two, three, A, B, C, all shapes and sizes, noisy, opposites and colours. Now I've seen online that they also do like the seasons as well which I do really want to find but I haven't found them yet. These are just fab. Colours is one of my favourites. It's just a really beautiful like traditional British book. Like look at that. So here it says red and yellow make orange and then it's got the gradient from the red to the yellow. I just think it's fab. Um, what have we got here? We've got blue. They're just such beautiful books. Um, and I think, look, white, it's like snow. I love them. Um, so I think they're really educational. Obviously, P, if you're not aware, she has just turned two. So she's still quite small, um, but these will grow with her and I think they're good to have. So yeah, we've got those six. I've got a couple of Usborne books. So I found this in a charity shop for 20p. Um, I think it's brand new. Um, and that is the Asborn Book of Princess Stories. Um, I really, really like this. She has got the Poppy and Sam books, which are her favourite. I've actually hidden them at the moment because I've had enough of reading them every single day. Um, and she's also got the fairy tale book. Um, and this one is just the princess one. It's stories that I have never heard of before. But like all the like Usborne books, you've got the little yellow duck on every page that you have to find. Um, and it's not too big. P doesn't really like to sit through stories at the moment. She likes short snappy ones that she can get through fast. Um, I don't know if that's just her age or, or what, but yeah, it's just really nice, really nice illustrations. Um, should have been 6 99 so the fact I got it for 20p is just an absolute steal. And then I also got a Christmas cooking book. Again, I got this from a charity shop for 50p. Um, it's just a good staple to have. She's not really going to know what all of these books are, if I'm being completely honest. So when we do get this, we can just flick through it um, and do some of the recipes. So we've got like cheesy Christmas stars, which I think she'll quite like. Um, what else have we got in here? Iced gingerbread hearts. Just like some good staples. I don't have any Christmas cooking books at all. So shortbread. She's not really going to know about it, but I think that'll be a nice one for her to have. As the years go by then i've got a variety by julie donaldson so the first one um is toddle waddle she loves this we got this from the library probably a couple of months ago now and she absolutely loved it it's illustrated by nick sharrett who does the jacqueline wilson book so it's also like a throwback to my childhood as well because i used to love jacqueline wilson you know what i probably still would love to read her books um, but it's like the sounds. So here you've got flip flop and then it says toddle waddle. Um, and then what have we got here? 
And then this page is really bright and colourful, which I also really like. Leap creep because you've got a frog, ting a ling because you've got a bike, clip clop because you've got the horse, etc. etc. So you know sort of the gist. It's just all about sounds and stuff. Um, it's a really good book. I got this for 49p in a charity shop. I think it's brand new. Again, I'm very lucky with finding books. Um, so yeah, she's got that one. One that I found from a car boots back in the summer is the Tickle book with pop-up surprises. She doesn't actually have any pop-up books. So when I saw this, it was something that I wanted to get on Amazon anyway. So I thought, why not? So you've got some little flaps here. Um, and then this one comes out and it's like a little bear. And then you pull this. What does this do? Oh, the door. It opens. There you go. Didn't know that. Got loads of like educational things like I'm a hen and I say cluck cluck, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got Penguin Page. So yeah, I think it's a really good book. Um, I haven't actually read it yet, but I think she'll like just doing the flaps anyway, which should hopefully keep her entertained. So I got that for 50p. Then I picked up these two, which is the Gruffalo and the Gruffalo Child. I picked this one up from a garage sale, and this is a hardback um, edition of it. Gruffalo is just a classic. It's not a classic for me because I never had it. I don't even know if it was out when I was small. Um, but I just think it's a really good, like, rhyming book. We've had it out from the library before. It's a little bit long, like, the words and stuff. But if I read it fast, hopefully she'll sit still enough um, for me to read it to her. But I just think it's a really nice book to have. This one was three for a pound. I've actually put the other two away for next year, which is ridiculous, but there you go. Um, and then I got The Gruffalo Child from a car boot for 50p. Again, it's, like, brand new. Um... I assume it's just a spin-off off of the Gruffalo. I'm not too sure. I haven't read it. I've just flicked through it. Um, it's festive because there's snow. It's festive to me. Um, so yeah, we've got that one. Then I've got the rest to show you. So we have got one from the works that I got last October, I think. Um, and that is by Simon James, The Wild Woods, Jess and Grandad's Woodland Adventure. So A, I got it because it's got my name on it. Um, and I also got it because I really liked the illustrations. They remind me of um, Quentin Blake. I think it's Quentin Blake that um, did the illustrations for Roald Dahl. And Roald Dahl is just such a classic, isn't it? So you've just got some really pretty illustrations. I just think it's lovely. And the words aren't too much. So I think it'll be a nice story that I can just get through. Um, I just think it's lovely. It looks like such a lovely story. Um, so I picked that up from the works. And this was in the 10 for £10 children book offer. So if you're not aware, have a look on the works website. They always do 10 for £10 on children's books. It's actually cheaper online than it is in store. In store is 3 for £5, obviously, whereas you get more for your money online. Um, and you can always like collect it in store so it literally only costs you £10 um, but you can get some really amazing books I know they had like Bear Hunt and stuff like that on there as well so I picked that one up from the works and then the other one I got from the works when I actually placed the order is Peace at Last by Jill Murphy now this is an absolute classic for me um, I remember this when I was small um, so it's basically about this Mr Bear who's really tired but he can't get comfortable and he can't sleep anywhere um, so like he goes to try and sleep on his armchair and then he goes, I think he sleeps in his car. Let's have a look. Oh, he goes to sleep outside with the owls, but the owls keep him awake. And then he goes to have a little snooze in his car. And then by the time he falls asleep, it's morning. Um, it's just a lovely story and I loved it when I was small, so I cannot wait to read this to pick. So yeah. Oh, I just love this one. This one fills me with so much joy because obviously it's a classic for me. Yet another classic is The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I found this at a car boot for 50p and I couldn't believe it because I've been on the hunt for it for so long. Um, this is, again, immaculate. It's just such a lovely heartwarming story, I think. I haven't read it since I've had pee because I'm trying to, like, save it for when we do it together. But the illustrations are lovely. This is by Judith Kerr. Judith Kerr does the Mog books, which she actually received for her birthday. And she's obsessed with watching Mog the Cat Christmas advert from Sainsbury's 2015. Um, but yeah, it's just a really lovely story. I do think it's slightly odd, isn't it? Like a tiger that came for a good old cup of tea, but just such lovely illustrations. And oh, I just can't wait to have it. I've got no idea where I'm going to put all these books. Right, what else have we got? I think this is supposed to be a classic, but it's one that I've never had. And that's Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes by 
Mem Fox and Helen Oxenberry. Oxenberry? She's done loads. I think she's the illustrator of Bear Hunt and Farmer Duck we've got of hers. We've got quite a lot that's illustrated by her anyway. Um, this one's a little bit strange, but I found it at a car boot and I wanted it. Again, it's got lovely illustrations. This is why I buy books, just for the, the illustrations and the pictures. I just think that they're lovely. See, like, there once was a little baby who was born on the ice and another in a tent who was just as nice. Um, so I guess it shows that diversity as well. I don't know. Um, but again, it's 50p, so we've picked that one up. And the writing isn't too big, like I keep saying. From another charity shop, we have got Say Goodnight to the Sleepy Animals. Now, she has got the snowy animals and the farm animals and she bloody loves them so when I saw this I didn't even know they did this version I know they do jungle but I didn't really want that one um, this is really sweet um, so it's basically about a cat that doesn't want to go to sleep and then it goes around and visits all the animals so you've got like a cat and a dog the illustrations are lovely and you've got a little fox just really nice bright colours little birdies um this is by ian wybrow and ed eaves i've heard of ian wybrow before um but yeah it's just lovely and this was only 49p again from a charity shop i've got another series i've almost finished um and this is by gossy and friends never ever heard of this series before the author is olivier danria there French I assume um there are more in the series than this and it burns my soul that I don't have them all um but she doesn't need them all so we have got Ollie the Stomper, PD, Gossy and Gertie, ow I just hit myself in the face with the book, Gossy and Boo Boo um <laughs> a bit weird aren't they I found these at a garage sale the same time that I got the Gruffalo and these were only 10p each I think and I was like alright I'll have them all I really like the illustrations for a start and I like the writing it's very small it's not too much I can quickly turn the pages I'm sure she'll sit through them all um, I don't really know what they're about but they're small little children's books that I'm sure she'll enjoy the woman that I brought them off she said that her grandchildren absolutely loved them but they grew out of them so that's why I've got them I think they look really nice on her shelf as well because they're just plain and pretty. I picked up from TK Maxx, probably the start of this year, two books by Emily Gravit. This is what they look like. I've seen paperback versions, but these were an absolute steal. So they were two hardbacks for £2. The word is crazy. So we've got Bear and the Hare Go Fishing. And then we've got Bear and the Hare Snow. So obviously the whole reason why I got it is because of snow and it being Christmas. You know what? I don't actually have that many Christmas books in this um, haul. Um, but she's got loads from last year. She's got Dear Santa. She's got some um, touchy-feely ones. And she's also got a couple of Christmas books in her Christmas Eve basket. Um, which I'm sure you'll see. So the illustrations are lovely. And the paper's like cards, which I really, really like um again very very small writing like won't take much to read it at all it's more of like a picture book for her to read and look at but i just think that they're lovely so they obviously make a nice big snowman um and then this one bear and the hair go fishing again it's the same concept it's like what they catch when they go fishing and he caught a frog if you can see that but yeah i just think that they're lovely um and for one pound per book i know that there should be a third one which i think is why they got so reduced but i'm happy with those two and then the last book is one that i actually saw on cbb's and i don't know if they do it all the time but i caught it obviously around christmas time and they were like reading out the book or singing the book and i was like i need that and that is the 12 days of christmas i think it was katie from i can cook was like dancing and singing along to it and I just loved the illustrations because they also showed the book while she was doing it um obviously I will probably give this on the 12th day of Christmas just seems like the right thing to do although I don't know whether that is the right thing to do but that's what I'm going to do um the cover is beaut and this is by Jane Ray I got this on um 
where did I get this on? Worldofbooks.com. Um, I love worldofbooks.com. Um, they do fab, fab books. I've got myself books from there and P books from there. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, and it's just a beautiful, big hardback illustrated book. Um, like, look at that. Can we just take a minute? I think P's a little bit young for it, but it's definitely something that can grow with her. I'll probably give it to her every single year, to be fair, in her book advent. Um, and it's something that you just sit and you take your time and you look at the pictures because there's so many different aspects going on. Like here, you've got someone peeping out of their curtain you've got the partridge in the pear tree, you've got the woman answering the door with some doves, turtle doves, a cat there, you've got a dog there, like there's so much going on on each page, I just think it's lovely, um, let me try and show you some more pages, I just think it's really nice and traditional and just really really pretty, like you've got this page, I just love it, um, and this cost me £2.80 I think, which is a little bit more than what I would normally pay, but it's just gonna be one of those ones that we would pay every single year. So I absolutely love that, and like I said, that's by Jane Ray. Beautiful, beautiful book. So there we go, there we have it. That is my first ever book advent video. I have been watching them for so many years, and I was like, I can't wait to be able to do it myself, and now I've done it myself. It's just like a pinch me moment. I have now got to go and wrap all of these up and label them and just get all excited about Christmas. You'll have to leave me a comment below letting me know if you do the book advent and when you give your child the book for the book advent. I think I might give her hers after her dinner maybe, so then we can do dinner, we can do a bath, and then she can go to bed with her new book and she can unwrap it before she goes to bed, because she will also be having like, I don't know if you saw last year, I did my little mini usable Christmas stockings and I'll be putting things in there so she can have that in the morning and then she can have her book in the evening. Let me know if you've ever done it. I know it's quite sort of like a new thing. It is very expensive. If you were to go out and say, buy them in Waterstones or WH Smith or even supermarkets, it soon adds up because they're like £3.50 a book. Whereas I feel like I've done it a pretty cheap way. I don't know how much I've spent in total, but I've done it as low cost as I can. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've got any of these books. Let me know anything you'd recommend for the future. You know I love me some good books. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!